on the busiest travel day of the holiday weekend, blizzard warnings stretch through the heart of the country, from the Great Plains to the Great Lakes. But snow isn't the only threat. Powerful wind advisories are posted from Texas to Illinois. Whiteout conditions prompted a state of emergency in Kansas. Hundreds of flights were canceled or delayed long before snow started falling at Chicago's O'Hare International. Jacob Wyckoff is tracking the severe weather at WBZ-TV in Boston. Jacob. Elaine, we do have blizzard warnings stretching from Metro Chicago down to the Kansas City area. Pretty impressive swath of blizzard warnings. We need a specific criteria for a blizzard to occur. Visibility less than a quarter of a mile, blowing snow, and also wind gusting over 35 miles per hour. We've seen wind gusts up to 50 to 60 miles per hour with this system. Last time Metro KC had a blizzard warning was back in 2011. So we're going to add some additional snow, 6 to 12 inches along the Interstate 70 corridor, whiteout conditions there. We have 12 plus inches out towards Moline, Illinois. This will be impactful as it lifts and moves on out of here. This is paused at 8 o'clock this evening. Then you start to see that rain move through Pittsburgh, Columbus into Cleveland, the I-95 corridor tomorrow afternoon getting in on some of that rain. And this is going to be some impressive rain totals too. You're talking another one to two inches of rain solidifying the fact that this has been one of the rainiest autumns in New England recorded history. On the north side of this system, white gold to all those ski resorts in northern New England, adding 6 to 12 plus inches of snow late Monday and into Tuesday. We're talking sunny skies in upper 40s for Atlanta and into Denver, a mixture of sun and clouds for Minneapolis in near 20 degrees. Elaine? Jacob Wyckoff. Jacob, thank you.